Hey guys, this is Twisted Limits for you here again today. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Tidal Wire. Now, you've probably watched how to do this before, but I feel like I should just go ahead and throw up a coil making building. I mean, my name is Twisted Limits. Might as well twist some shit up for you, huh? Alright, so, for Tidal Wire, basically what you use is two strands of round wire with a strand of flat wire. Now, my favorite thing to do is to use 24 gauge Nichrome 80 with, for the round wire with 0.08 by 0.01 Canthal as a flat wire. Because the flat wire is obviously going to heat up a lot faster than the round wire is. So I prefer using the Canthal over the Nichrome because then that's not going to get so hot that it's going to burn everything. It's going to keep it at a nice calm temperature. But today what I'm going to be using is Canthal for all of it. I unfortunately ran out of my Nichrome 80 24 gauge, all guys 22 gauge left, and I really don't feel like throwing 22 gauge tidal wire on anything right now. Um, that's that's a good bit, and actually I don't think I have any RDA right now that'll fit that type of wire. Well, I probably do. It just has to be sleeper. But I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, what you what I use, and you could probably use a lot less wire than this, but I just do this just in case I have some mess ups in the wire when I'm twisting it because that happens a lot with Tidal, especially if you don't have it set the right way for the flat wire whenever you twist it up. Um, if you have it set in between the wires, then the flat wire is going to get trapped in between the twists of the round wire, and you won't be able to even see the flat wire, completely defeating the purpose of it even being there. Um, if you have it offset, like crossing the two, then the first quarter of it's just going to be it wrapped around the twisted wire until it sets itself in for the rest of it. So you got to be careful with that. But... Uh, I use a little more wire than probably necessary. I'm taking about a foot and a half of 24 gauge, uh, two lines of a foot and a half of it for the round wire. And then for the flat wire, got about two foot of a piece of uh, flat wire going for it. Um, because whenever I go ahead and make this, oh shit, I dropped it. Hold on a second, guys. All right, well, that took a second. But anyways, um... When you do, whenever I make this, I wrap it around the beginning of one of the pieces of wire before I start twisting it up, and then I wrap it at the end, so whenever I use my pliers to grip onto it, it holds it a lot better. The flat wire's not gonna just slide back and slinky up, uh, cause that can get really annoying. This way I can just wrap it around it. When I grip it with the pliers, it's just gonna stay there. So that's why I use that. But I will show you how to put this in the drill, how to get everything set up, how to twist it up, and then what you can do with it and how it performs. Uh, this stuff's great on flavor, it's pretty good on density, and you can get a good sized cloud coming out of this. So, and me being a pretty avid cloud chaser myself, I do enjoy Tidal Wire a lot. Keep in mind though, it is a really low ohm. Uh, the last time that I made uh, a Tidal Wire build, Granted, it was with G-plat instead of Canthal for the round wire, but it was down at .07. So that was a four-wrap um, dual coil. That thing is that thing hit. It was real hot, though. It overheated batteries like crazy. So I'm going to show you how I wrap this around first, and then we'll move to the next stuff. First thing I do before I even start with this is I get my round wire set. And then I straighten out both pieces. This way I'm not going to have any uneven wraps going around in it whenever I go to twist it up. I'm not going to have anything just hanging off the edge. This is going to make everything a lot more uniform and a lot nicer looking. And for me, the prettier it is, the better it is. It could be the best working coil in the world, but if it looks like shit, I sure as hell ain't going to vape it. So what I do is I just take one piece of round wire, grab one end of my flat wire, and take about an inch of it here. I'll show you that a little up close. Take about an inch, and then I wrap it around here and get it situated right on that little 90 degree angle I made with the wire so I can put it in the chuck of my drill. So, there's that. Uh, obviously, I used a little too much on that, maybe a little less than an inch. But I'll just snip that right off of there. there we go. So that's what you're going to be looking at then. You can see how it already just wants to buckle down. So whenever we get that into the chuck of the drill, I will show you 
what I do to wrap it around to make it all look pretty and make it stay. So I will be right back with that for you. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about the glare from the lights here. It's kind of unavoidable, unavoidable for this one. So I got in the truck of my drill, and as you see, I have both pieces of the, fl the round wire hanging out of two different sections on that chuck. That way it just gets a better grip on it and I can tighten it down real well. Now what I'm gonna do is take all this wire and pull it over to the one end. All right, as you see right here, I'm just gonna make sure everything's in line. This round wire is not stuck in the middle of it somewhere, or the flat wire rather. Bring it down. Now I'm gonna take the flat wire here I got way too much on that one, but oh well. A little bit of waste, not that big of a deal. Got lots of it. All right, so what I just do is at the very end of it, about half an inch, I just wrap it around both sets like this. Kind of like I'm trying to clap in it with flat wire. So now that will hold it. When I let go, obviously it's gonna bunch it up, but it's gonna hold it whenever I put the drill on it, or the pliers on it and start to twist it. So I'll be right back to show you guys that. Alright guys, so this is what you're looking at whenever it finishes up, once it focuses in on it. Or it won't. But, you can see the flat wire wrapped around the two strands of uh, round wire there. If you look at the end of the drill here, you can see where it's messed up a little bit. And towards the end, got that little kink in it. Right there. And that's why I leave a little bit of excess, that way I still have a good at least 12 inches, about 12 inches there, so I can still wrap that coil up with it. Now, this isn't fully twisted yet. You can see how far away those wraps are with that round wire. You need to twist it up a little more, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now you can see those are a little bit closer together. You gotta make it kinda tight, but if you over tighten it, then it's going to basically just split up that flat wire, it's gonna break it, or you're gonna twist it all up into a jumbled mess and nothing's gonna come out of it and you're gonna have to restart the entire process. So I'll be back in a second to show you the finished product with a completely wrapped coil. All right, so here's the finished coil. Uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus on it, but you can kind of see the little waves in it there with the light on it. But that's what it looks like then. And whenever you fire them up, that's what you're looking at. So I'll be back in again another second to show you guys how it vapes. And I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back with it wicked. This is what you're looking at for production off the coil. That's 72 watts on the variant. Go ahead and put some more juice on this and I'll show you what kind of production you're looking at. Now, this is what you're looking at production wise off of 72 watts on a variant and a CLT3 with tidal wire 24 gauge with the flat wire. So it's not bad. Pretty good, it has incredible flavor. It's probably one of my favorite coils. Um, if I had a choice, I would be using the Nichromatey with it because it would give me that little extra power boost that I'm looking for. But it does work pretty well, even with just Canthal. So if that's all you have, go ahead and try it because it's a great coil and I love it to death. But, anyways, that's all for me today. So have a nice night and remember, vaping is the way.